world is facing a climate emergency. The Earth's temperature has already increased by 1 degree Celsius above pre-industrial levels, and this is causing severe impacts on water supplies, biodiversity, oceans and food production, and resulting in extreme climatic events. At the Paris Climate Conference in December 2015, 195 countries created the first truly global agreement to control greenhouse gas emissions and confront the impacts of climate change. Countries agreed to limit global warming to well below 2, preferably 1.5 degrees Celsius, compared with pre-industrial levels. This requires economic and social transformation based on the best available science. Countries commit to actions they will take to reduce their greenhouse gas emissions in order to reach the goals of the Paris Agreement through what are known as Nationally Determined Contributions, or NDCs. Countries also communicate actions they will take to build resilience and adapt to the impacts of rising temperatures. This may include sharing information on adaptation and finance flows. The Paris Agreement includes national targets to be reached by 2025 or 2030 for most countries and works on a five-year cycle. This gives countries the opportunity to increase their efforts and put forward stronger targets and actions. Collective progress under the Paris Agreement will be assessed through a global stock take. This will lead to recommendations for countries to set more ambitious plans in the next round. The Paris Agreement also provides insight into the financial, technical and capacity building support countries need. The Paris Agreement shows the strong political support already in place to tackle climate change. Local and sub-national governments must continue to contribute to such global and national climate goals, pushing for strong national climate action plans, then supporting them through local climate adaptation and resilience plans.